Welcome everyone to the Metroid, Super Metroid, Item Manager League Season 1. This is, I believe, Week 8, Nightwolf versus Metroid MST. Little one-on-one -on -one action. Just a quick overview as we head over to the first item. We have Night Wolf sitting in uh, Where's the spreadsheet? Okay, I can't find <laughs> I can't find their information. Um But uh it looks like we're having some trouble on Nightwolf's side. He's just standing there. Yeah, ceiling item at Twin Star. Sorry. Retro ceiling item. Grapple beam, although Metroid seems to have difficulty picking it up. This is gonna go for plan C. And right off the bat, we already have power bombs, super missiles. So it is safe to say that we will not be seeing any strange power bomb locations in Norfair that uh, could cost us run for some time. Ooh. What is this? Metroid MST going for the legendary meat round. Needs to be really careful though, these uh, gigantic side hoppers do a lot of damage and um, easily kill MST. He makes it out just a bit. Already in Green Hill Zone. Although he will be skipping out on three potential items the BT item, Vader, uh, as well as Gauntlet. Wowee! What... What a find. Various suits so early in the game. MST actually... It seems like the meme route here is the big winner. Finding various suits so early... Uh, definitely saves some time against uh, Night. That is if, decide, if um, Metroid MST decides to straight armor, but it looks like... So, look at Brinstar Reserve as well as Animals. Nightwolf going up the elevator, so we will see what is behind the BT item as well as Nader. Wow, 
Wow. This has got to be a fast progression speed, I think. Uh, speed booster there. That for the star reserve. And it was a really good choice for MST back uh, to pick these items up instead of going straight into Narfair. So I was wrong. Going directly to Narfair may not have been the best choice as MST chooses to do some farming. Uh, Night Wolf's stream may have some issues. Get back to Oh, MST decided to go further up. Back to Terminator, it seems. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna assume that Knight will found an E tank BT, considering that he has one. As these moves will converge at the bottom of the it seems like, or at the pirate room. Very interesting decision for MSC to go back to uh after meme route. Could it be that MSC is going wreck ship in the opposite direction? Wow we I've never seen this before, so oh gonna okay though he is gonna go possibly check the and then Maybe make the play to go wrecked ship as Wolf checks the gauntlet item after picking up the screw attack. I don't think he's safe. Uh, it is still pretty dangerous for Night Wolf despite the fact that he has E tank. Um, poor movement in going into the gauntlet item could definitely result in death as Metroid MST picks up his E tank. He'll be making his way up and possibly to the right. Oh, it looks like Night Wolf is gonna back out on the decision. Check Gauntlet. As MSC goes to the ship for a refill, I'm assuming power bombs. Could see a save here. See a save that he probably will check Gauntlet. He did save. Um, Gauntlet check would be a little bit easier for MST considering he does have Varia. So acid damage would not be as painful as being suitless. However, he will still take his time here. Oh, getting grabbed by the Yapping Maw. Um, fortunately, he has that Varia suit, as I said. And he finds another E tank. Besides, he will take it. I see going for that stutter step. And he gets the Shine Spark through this room. So yeah, it, it's really interesting how MST decided to go for the uh, alternate exit, <laughs> aka meme route. I, I don't know if meme route is like a uh, a bad term. <laughs> I've heard it many times, so I, I will say it many times. Um, but I I don't think I've ever seen runner go to right ship from. Brinstar and not through Red Tower as he picks up a super missile tank here at the moment. I don't think <laughs> Steve probably thought that that space. No, he tried to jump through that first uh, 
gap there. Would have been a really cool jump. So it's going to be really hard for me to track uh, Night Wolf's items or pickups if he is streaming to have issues like this. So I'll, I'll definitely keep an eye out on his inventory and what his suit looks like. As Metro MSC counters his first boss, which will be Fantoon. Probably gonna see good old Dopplers here. No beams, no charge. Has enough missiles for a two round without having to make a big deal of farming. Metroid MST is going to be relatively safe here, having both barrier suit as well as screw attack. You should be able to get through Fantoon without worrying about dying. Uh, screw attack makes you invulnerable to the flames that Fantoon drops, and barrier suit increases the, the defense that Sam has, reducing the damage taken from flames from Fantoon. 40 to like, ten or something like that. Uh, maybe I think it's gravity that makes it ten. As Metroid MST picks up all of the items from her. Could maybe still be in a little bit of danger here if he decides to spike death. Varia will be very, very useful there in case of any flat issues. Accidental stepping of the spikes. So maybe we might see a save here. See as he checks redship. And he gets a free refill. MST on the hunt for some miners. He does not have charge beam, so it is a good, good idea to look for miners while you don't have charge beam. Uh, just in case you don't have, just in case you don't find it uh, in a convenient area, uh, you'd be able to get Turian as well as Mother Brain with enough ammo. Uh, it's always a, a decent uh, contingency strategy. Um, 
otherwise the runner may have to spend a lot of time looking for more miners or hunt for charge which could cost the mortal as MST makes his way through Spike with no damage. And the tactical reset there for MSC. Not like the item that he saw at Reisha B tank. Decides to reload the game, which is fast. Back through spiky room of death. MST making really quick work out of the attic, having screw attack and speed booster, although not actually using booster. Making what is one of the more difficult games pretty easy. We'll check out this item here, another reserve tank. That's two in right ship. So that's got to be a bust for me. Can he go for the trifecta? Can he get three reserve right ship? Oh, looks like I stream down. Hopefully, come back. Hopefully, he's still playing. His stream might be down, but SRL is still going. We see that he is back, kind of, with an ice beam. So I'll click that. And I'm going to assume since he's at the bottom of Red Tower, he also has various suits that we found at Charge Beam. As Nightwolf appears to make his way towards Cray. Oh, Nightwolf has gravity. So, Varia and gravity in close proximity as, as Metroid MST finds an E tank. It looks like Wreckship first is kind of a bust. Uh, this could play out uh, to Nightwolf's favor if Nightwolf continues through goes through Lord Norfair Meridia and then finally to wreck ship could choose to skip all those items as well as bowling um, for a significant time save on, over MST. So we'll see how that plays out as MSTB goes back through the landing site. What's his make a save? Two Samuses on Nightwolves. Ooh, no quick kill for Wolf. And MST will be going back down Brinstar. Uh, he's already checked the items down here, so I don't know. Oh, he might be checking the edit items. Uh, I don't think he did check that on his way up because he did not have any power bombs. So he's going to make that quick check as well as check uh, Waterway is another choice. Alright, Nightwolf coming back from Raid Item, which was an E tank.
hopefully we get to see what Nightwolf has for this item here. Please don't skip. And energy tank at grade energy. MST will be picking up his Ice Beam. Uh, considering Nightwolf has gravity, we can assume that MST is also going to find it shortly. Either at Wavegate or uh, Spazer. Or maybe X-Ray. As Nightwolf makes his way down to Norfair. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, Nightwolf did not go redshift first. He could have the late game advantage here by completely skipping the items at redshift. I can confirm that Nightwolf does in fact have Varia. He's not taking any heated damage here. And he finds a charge at ice. Very, very solid seed so far, uh, getting a lot of progression items early on. Uh, I don't know if charge would be considered a progression item, but it's a definite soft lock prevention item. As uh, all bosses do take damage from charge. having a little bit of difficulty here with Wavegate. Oh, he's got it. Commentator is not curse. And what's behind the high jump item? Finding X-ray scope. So it seems to me. Oh, the space jump. I mean, uh, Night Wolf. Uh, X-ray scope. Or MST. So it's. Nightwolf seems to have skipped Wavegate. <clears throat> Norfair, 2 out of 2 so far for really good items. As MSC goes down to Waterway to check what could be down there. Hydra boots found that waterway. Let me quickly check the height of Night Wolf's jumps, if I can. <laughs> It'd be really hard to tell. As Wolf picks up bomb at Warfare Reserve. Tracy confirms that Nightwolf does in fact have high jump. Aside from not having strong enough beams, the the two runners are technically in go mode. Well, I take that back. MSC is yet to be in go mode. He does not have charge. But I assume that he's going to pick that up very shortly. It is one of the items that most runners always check. Nightwolf leaving the space jump item with full health. So I will go ahead and say that he did pick up an E-Tank there. Oh. 
MST wasting no time in this uh, really long room with the spikes and the yapping mods. Using Debu strats there. Confident in his abilities. Uh, he does have Varia and Gravity, so it, spike damage is not as painful as it is with Suitless. As that will makes it way to Wave Beam. Hopefully, we can catch what this item I didn't catch what item was. Does not have full health. It's not a neat. What kind of beam is he going to shoot out? Let's see. This is like a really fun guessing game. It is important to note at this point that MSC went direct down in Warfare without having, without checking trade. Uh, so later on in the match, hopefully MSC remembers to go up to Kraid and kill him. Otherwise, the Golden Forest statues will not. Will not reveal an elevator tutorial. As MSC picks up his space, Nightwolf going directly to Northern Warfare after finding the items Bubble Mountain area. And Nightwolf looks like he's going to save here, which is uh, not a bad idea. One can assume that the save is meant for Green Gate Glitch. It does have full super, so I would expect that he will nail the Green Gate Glitch before he runs out. Charge beam found for MST. At this point, uh, um, despite the fact that it's really hard to tell um, how Nightwolf is doing uh, due to the oh run of validated, we don't need words to see what that is. So yeah, it, despite the fact that it's hard to tell how Nightwolf is doing, um, it, in my mind, I do think that Nightwolf does have the advantage here if it if it presents itself, and it looks like it is already. Um, that Nightwolf can completely skip Wreck Ship after killing Fantoon, whereas uh, MSC went up into Wreck Ship checked all the items out and found basically nothing. He only picked up two E-Tanks out of the four items. So, um, Nightwolf could finish off the the first three bosses and leave Phantom last, giving him pretty good advantage over Amist. However, um, since it's kind of hard to tell uh, it's really hard to tell uh, how, how Night will be with all this streaming as MST makes its way into Lord Norfair.
MSC will not be checking the GT item. It is only Spring Ball. In MST's mind, he is in go mode, so he probably will not check all those out of the way items that GT can be considered out of the way. So now it's a race between who's more comfortable with the lack of beams. Uh, as you can tell, MSC did skip the GT item, which was Spring Ball, uh, indicating to us that he's fine with the beam combination as, which is not much, really, just having charge and ice. Um, so. If MSC cannot find any stronger beams uh, along the way, it seems like um, he's skipping the items that are not in the way. Um, so if Nightwolf spends a little time searching for beams that are kind of sort of out of the way, but not completely out of the way, he could also he could also gain another advantage there on it. Who might? might just enter Turian with only uh, charge and ice. So Metroid MST having enough supers to kill Ridley outright uh, and avoid having to use his charge ice beam. Uh, Nightwolf only having 20 supers and 45 missiles would be enough for an ammo kill if you don't include power bombs. So both now farming up to as much ammo as they can get. Nightwolf the first one to fill up and he'll be making his way towards the fight. Oh. He forgot to open the eye door. Uh, it looks like he'll just skip it. <clears throat> Nightwolf opening with a power bomb. That's... Never seen that before. Ooh, the ice shield from MFP as he also uses X ray. I don't think X ray works there. If plasma X ray is microwave, what is ice X ray? <laughs> Looks like Nightwolf is going to exhaust all his power bombs before using the supers and so Meanwhile, MST looking like a pretty good fight so far, although I think he wants to bait that pogo. He does. have the equal amount of beams here. And so far, Nightwolf is the safer of the two runners in this fight, taking less damage. And MST has defeated Ridley. Are we going to see what is behind Ridley's door? Another e tank. So if you're MST, you're probably hoping that you, you'll pick up another beam uh, on your way to bosses. Uh, like I said, and th this is my opinion, uh, he's going straight for the boss kills and leaving, or, or going straight to the hoping that he gets a 
somewhere along the way as Nightwolf still having issues with Ridley down to less than one E tank. Very dangerous. He does have power bomb so selected, so if he holds that ice beam long enough, he will trigger the ice shield. And I don't think that's what he tends to do. Is it enough damage? No, it is not. This is really, really tough. <laughs> Can oh no, Nightwolf. Takes a death from Ridley. Oh no, I'm looking at SRL and he did a dot forfeit, so I don't- Oh, and he's in chat. So I'm gonna assume that he is gonna throw the towel. And MST is making his way out of the warfare. Um, did skip the fire flea item. So we will not be able to see what that is. MST not interested in any of the bubble mountain checks. There was bombs and I believe two E tanks that bubble mountain bombs not needed at this point. Question asked, does MSC know their opponent? The answer is yes. Alright, uh, MSC not forgetting to enter Kraid. Defeating Kraid is required to enter Turian. Just like that, Raid is down. One boss left for MST as wait to Meridia to fight Raygon. He's considering getting this E tank, uh, which will put him at decent or at minimum health, uh, the minimum amount of E tank is for damage. Although having only charge and ice at the moment kind of makes stand up. Almost not worth it. I mean, you, you risk soft lock for very minor damage output.
Alright, we'll see if MST does any checks here in Meridio. We'll just go straight to Dragon. Oh. Yep, he will skip Mama Turtle. Decision here for MST checking more miners, realizing that he only does have, you know, <laughs> ice and charge. Uh, so having extra supers is always a good thing. Let's see what's behind bot. Another E-Tank. There's really only one other item that MSC will check before he gets to Turian. It's gonna be Dragon. It's not a beam. We'll see some fancy low percent ice. Turian, Mother Brain, fight. Although it will be supplemented with uh, 35 super, so it won't be that bad. attack to break out of the uh, goop binding? Uh, uh, what, do you, what do you call this? <laughs> and there is the quick grapple. use of the grapple beam there and use like as many of Dragon's drops as he can and we find wave beam so very useful actually um, this basically makes it so that MC will not have to do the speed boosters ups Um, 
it also helps out with uh, Mother Brain's damage. He won't have enough supers for a, a full-on kill with the brain, so having Wave Beam there will just help increase the damage per charge beam. MSC, I think he intended to farm there, but... Gonna take a real quick pit stop. Will we see a save? Uh, no. Not to worry, there is another save station. Just be for the uh, Zepatite. Solid time from MST so far, entering G4 at a time of 49.07. As this is way down the elevator and into Turin. Last set of Metroids gave MST full supers here, so you will make the most out of it during the MD2 fight. So, MST does have enough health to stand up. Will he decide to do it is the question. Oh, he gets grabbed by Baby as he attempts Baby Skip. Oh, it looks like he might Crystal Flash here to save. Power Bomb's pre-selected. It's an interesting strategy. It will subtract 10 ammo. MST's uh, arsenal. That's a really, uh, that's some heads up play right there. 
I need to add that to my repertoire. <laughs> I've never seen that before. I never thought to do that before in a randomized race, so good on him. And MST is, in fact, going to go with the uh, speed loop map skip. So, put the words back in my mouth. Nope! They put it right back out of my mouth. Nope! He's going to go for Zeb. Uh, speed loop skip here, I'm sure. Nope! Okay. <laughs> Just commentate things as they happen. We are entering a break fight, having only 15 super to start off, he's going to use them all. Uh, other runners would use it at the end when they see ketchup, guarantee that there will be no more ketchup after using 15 supers. But I trust that MSC is very confident in the videos. Required to have at the minimum, I believe it is 301 health during the Rainbow Beam phase. So he does have enough room here uh, in terms of health for uh, just a few mistakes, but only just he did not save. Keep that in mind. And this could be a very long fight. And the MSC has been taking some hits here. Takes a hit. He cannot take another hit here. Absolutely cannot take another hit. Oof. That's so. It's so scary when uh, Mother Brain launches ketchup at you while you're mid air, and it looks like we're good. MSC verifying that he has both suits. Whip as we go into the rainbow beam fade and the baby metro. And the baby is down.
Time bomb set. Escape immediately. All that there is left for MSC to do is enter the ship. He's got two and a half minutes to do so, which is a lot of time for a beat runner. GG to MST finishing with the SRL time of 5822. Congratulations. Very solid run. A lot of items skipped as MST was very confident ability to traverse through the game with a limited number of beams. Pretty interested to know where uh, Splasma was. So uh, MSC is going to decline the interview, uh, so we'll just go through the cuts here, the uh, ending credit scene here. So progression speed was set to basic. There were many super packs and firebomb packs. Here we have the item locations. Spacer at Spring Mall. Plasma at Meridia Reserve, left side sand pit. So definitely items that MS would have skipped. Alright, um and that's since we won't have an interview, that is all I have. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. Don't forget to follow the runners. And uh, follow the random.
Miser League channel, <laughs> if you haven't already. And from what I understand, after the upcoming races, I don't have a schedule here. I do have a schedule here. There will be two races on the 23rd, which is going to be Sunday coming up. It is Sunday. And then uh, the Randomizer League, from what I understand, will be on a two-week break for the holidays and possibly a third for AGDQ. But uh, from what I understand or I've been told, um, races will go on in that week and any, runner, any of the runners who are attending will have to just uh, schedule either before or after that week. Either way, um, one thing is true, that there will be a two-week break. Please stop me if I'm saying wrong things and these mods are admin. Uh, but uh, once again, GG to MST and uh, uh, unfortunate uh, tech problems for Nightwolf there. He had to forfeit. But nevertheless, Make sure you give those runners a follow. That is all I have. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, I'm looking at the schedule one more time. There, there does not appear to be any more races tonight. So, have a good night, everyone, and we'll see you next time.